Hi and welcome to a new video about SXA. In this video we are going to look at some of the basics in partial and page design. Within SXA you can use partial and page designs to create your UX layout and this is usually one of the first steps that you will take in your SXA project um, besides the data templates, your data architecture of course. So from the content editor I'm going to my tenant and there I'm opening my site and underneath presentation I will have the partial and page design notes. Now the way this will work is that you create partial designs and like the word says uh, those are partially or parts of the whole design, page design. So for example you're going to create a header or a footer and one or more partial designs are combined and those will create the page design. So let's get started and you will see for yourself we're going to create a partial design and we're giving this the name header and in here we're going to create a simple menu. So I'm going to the experience editor and in here we are going to drag and drop some components to the page. Now there is one important thing to know. In here you will see the header placeholder, the main placeholder and the footer main uh, placeholder. Um, and the components that you place in the placeholder here are exactly placed in the same placeholder when the page is loading. So when you want to create a header and you start drag and dropping components to the main placeholder um, and you will assign the partial design header to a page design, then the actual page where the page design is applied to will show the components in the main placeholder instead of the header. So keep that in mind that the location of the placeholder where you add components to is exactly the same once the page is rendered. So to create a header, I'm going to drag and drop the navigation component to my header. And I'm going to make some small changes so I have a horizontal layout. Um, this has nothing to do with the partial and page design. Um, I want only one level, this should be enough and we have a horizontal navigation. So I'm going to click save. I will leave this tab open and I'm going back to the content editor and I'm going to create another partial design uh, giving this the name of footer. Now in the footer partial design I'm going to do something very very simple but it's just to show you how the basics work. Um, usually you will do something here like uh, linked lists with additional links, maybe some logos, um, maybe some newsletter subscription form, uh, but I will keep it simple and just enter some basic copyright text uh, just to show that it works. So that's our footer. Now we have, when I switch back to the content editor, I have a footer and a header and I can combine those in a page design. So without a page design, I cannot do anything. Page designs are applied to a page and they need uh, partial designs. Also keep in mind that you always have to use partial designs also for the main placeholder when you want to show some uh, main information of a page. Um, there need to be some components. You can leave it empty, then your content editors or marketers have to create the page from scratch. Now for a landing page that can be um, uh, uh, the, the case that you want to give them some freedom. But for example for blog or news articles you want to create a more fixed layout. Um, and then you have to create a partial design where you're placing a title component or an abstract component or something with a published date. Um, it needs to be there. You cannot add them to the page design. Well you can but they will not show up. So everything that you want to do with components in the page designs they need to be on the partial designs and the partial designs make up the page design. the page design node and then add a new page design i'm going to call this landing page now the only thing that i'm going to do right now is select the header select the footer and the metadata and the metadata partial design contains all kinds of things that are rendered outside of the body um, tag. Uh, so a lot of things that are 
added to the head section like the meta description uh, meta keywords etc those are all, all stored already in the metadata component so always add them to your base design now i'm going to save this one and now i'm going to one of my pages and i'm opening this one in the experience editor now by default you will not see my new page design because the default one is used automatically and I'm going to override it. Now I can do two things, pick a specific design for this page or set some default settings for the whole site. So I leave the home page as it is, but for each page that is created from the page type, I'm going to use the landing page. Hit OK and I have to save this setting. And as you can see right now, uh, my header and my footer are automatically uh, assigned. Now from here I can uh, go and add components to this page. Like I mentioned, if you have a landing page that needs to be uh, free and your marketers should have the freedom in creativity, you can leave just one placeholder and let them decide what to do. But you can also create some fixed layouts with some other placeholders where they can uh, have their freedom um, and then you will have to create a partial design for it. So that's it. This is some of the basics um, that you need to do in order to get started with creating your pages and your site.